Let's start off in the front of the house. So we have these two double doors here that we did cut windows out of because this used to be the garage door. And we added in some plastic to look like glass. And this leads into a little lounge area. This area is very simple. We just have our Christmas tree that we have up like all year. These beautiful curtains that we made out of fabric. A little bench with some cushion at the top, which is just some knitted yarn. And a nice little carpet. Moving on from the lounge area, there's a little archway connecting into the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty simple. I love the color scheme we went with. Some nice white cabinet doors. And the little stools with the cushion is so cute. We have some decorations up here on the kitchen island, like this cute little candle and this mini Christmas tree. And leaving the kitchen, we get to the living room. I think this room is so nice, especially this couch. I'm really proud with how this turned out. This took like four days to make. And all the decor and the shelving just is perfection with the whole room. This little table here is also so adorable. We put some little books and decorations on top. And this carpet down here is actually a dish towel from Target. And I just love the little tassels going off. I think it's so adorable. You guys can count how many times I say cute and adorable. But going up the stairs here, we go into Phoebe's room. On the left side of her room is where the bed is. Her bedding is so cute. I love the color scheme we went with here. These vintage paintings and the mirror, adorable. And then she has some vines hanging off right above her bed and this little desk side table with a little Stanley cup on top. And then moving a little bit to the right, we just have three little paintings here. Moving all the way to the right, we have her little makeup and clothes area. And above the desk, she has this little cork board with some Polaroid pictures hung up with her favorite people. And then in the corner here, she has her clothes rack with the beautiful mirror again. Right next to Phoebe's room, we have the bathroom. The bathroom is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. On this side, we have a little bathtub that we added some fluff in to look like bubbles. And we also made some candles here that we stuck LED lights into, so they actually light up. This is what it looks like with the candles on. This makes such a great background for pictures, and it's just so gorgeous overall. And on the other side is where we have the counter with the sink, and this mirror, and the toilet of course. Going upstairs into Rebecca's room. When you first walk up the stairs here, there's a little shoe rack and some posters on the wall. Here's Rebecca's desk area. She keeps all of her pencils in this little glass jar and she had these little paintings hung up on her cork board. Right next to her desk, she has this little hamper here that we made out of popsicle sticks. She's got some clothes in here. And this beautiful bench with this lovely green cushion on top. And I also love this little carpet that we made out of yarn. A little left to her desk, she has this little swinging chair here. And on the far left side of her room, she has her bed. I think Rebecca's bed is absolutely gorgeous. I love the sheets and the pillows. And I really like this shelf that we did on top of her bed. I think the decorations look so adorable. And these little pictures, everything just matches so well. And all of these bedrooms actually have lights. And we keep them all under the beds. You can get an idea of what the lights look like. They look a lot better when it's darker in the room. Now moving on to the top of the house here. The very top of the house is Everly's room. In this corner over here, she has a little toy chest and this turtle on top and her little crochet octopus. And it's the perfect size for her. And the colors of the bed and the carpet and the wallpaper, everything just ties in together. It's so adorable. She's got some of her drawings on the wall there. And then on the left, we have her little toy kitchen. And right next to the kitchen, we have her little drawing and reading area. She's got her desk here that we did add some little lace trimming to. And her mini chair. And then on the wall, we put some popsicle sticks up 
for a little bookshelf for all of her books. And she also has some paintings here too. And on her desk, she has another book and some colored pencils for her drawings. And in this corner over here, we have her pillow for area. We added a bunch of pillows over here and a blanket to make the most comfiest pillow for ever. And we added this little play mat in the middle that we got from Timu. And that concludes our house tour. Let us know if you guys like this video and if you want to see more, make sure to comment down below some more video ideas. We'll see you guys next time.